Welcome back to the channel, investors, guys. In today's video, I have an 87 cent tiny, tiny penny stock to share with you guys that is possibly an all in investment for me. And that is because of the industry and the sector that they are in. I think it's going to perform extremely well over the next several months and even the next several years to come. Now, obviously, pretty much all we talk about on this channel is Deegan penny stock, the most Deegan of the Deegan penny stocks. We find those high risk, high reward investments with the absolute best opportunity we go in on those stocks and more than likely we capitalize on a lot of those investments as long as you guys are making sure to time your entries and exits accordingly and not chasing however one of the most important things in having an extremely risky portfolio like we do or at least I do here on this channel is to have a hedge against all of those riskier investments so you are still winning even when the market is trending downwards so that is exactly the stock I'm gonna share with you guys in today's video it is a pretty much win 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 best of both worlds this is one a hedge against your riskier investments like all of those Deegan penny stocks but two this performs like a Deegan penny stock exactly as you're gonna see so guys the stock that we are gonna be talking about in today's video is York Harbor Metals or ticker symbol Y-O-R-K-F on the OTC markets so you will need a larger broker like TD Ameritrade or Fidelity to buy this stock but before you guys go whoa 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 I want nothing to do with a small mining company like this I'm only into those Deegan penny stocks. Well, let's talk about it here. So one, this performs like a Deegan penny stock up 172, almost 173% just in the last six months. And over the last one year, it is up 235% continuing to reach higher highs and higher lows. So this is a Deegan penny stock in my book. It moves and it moves extremely fast. Now, number two here, I will agree with you guys. It is kind of a boring company. I mean, come on now. It's nothing like a crazy e or technology company, but I do want to inform you that this stock will be going up as the entire electric vehicle industry goes up, and that is because of one specific uh, reason or one specific product. So I will be sharing that with you guys in today's video as well. Make sure and stay tuned. But the point of this video is going to be one, why you guys need a hedge against some of those riskier investments. Two, why is this mining industry, at least why do I think it is going to be successful over the next several months or several years? And three, why specifically is Y-O-R-K-F, a good investment, at least in my book within that industry. So we're going to be answering all those questions for you guys in today's video. If that sounds interesting, make sure and stay tuned and be sure to leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite Deegan penny stock in the entire market? And also, do you have a hedge against some of those riskier investments? And I want to highlight as well, before we get into it here, how our other hedges have been performing. Obviously, this isn't the first hedge that we have talked about on this channel. So as we can see, to your uranium stocks one ticker symbol uec we were in this stock around two some dollars about a year ago up hundreds of percent already it's up 83 percent over the last six months there's also you roy we've been in since around two dollars as well even this one up 68 percent over the last one year we just talked about this again i believe a week or two ago and it's up another 15 20 percent since then or a gold mining stock ticker symbol gldg this is sitting at a dollar 71 right now and is up 36 percent just in the last six months. So as you can see, these stocks are all hedges, right? They're hedges against inflationary times, hedges against those riskier penny stocks. Nevertheless, they perform like Deegan penny stocks because in the hedge world, these are the Deegan hedges, if that kind of makes sense. So when hedges do well, these are going to do extremely well. So that's exactly why I share with you guys these stocks. Anyways, though, getting into it here, York Harbor Metals is an exploration and development company focused on the York Harbor copper, zinc, and silver project. And there's one word that I want to focus on in there that has to do with electric vehicles. And if you guys know anything about the EV industry, it is copper. So copper is a product used to make electric vehicles and a lot of it is used really all cars, but electric vehicles more specifically, as we can see, analysts predict EV demand will continue to go up and will continue to keep copper prices high in 2022 and beyond. Like we can see from this right here, the electric vehicle market and copper demand, as we can see, if you guys haven't known yet, electric vehicles are not going anywhere. They are here and they are 100% here to stay. Obviously, Tesla pretty much kicked it off and now we can see tons of new electric vehicle makers are coming out pretty much every time you blink your eyes and also some of the biggest car companies in the world like GM, like Ford, they're all coming out with their own electric vehicles now. So this electric vehicle world is just getting started and you can believe there's going to continue to be more and more electric vehicles as the years go on and you can see that right here with the electric vehicle demand from 
EV buses, hybrids, cars, all kinds of different things. Look at them just straight skyrocketing, right? And you can also see electric vehicle copper demand. We can see that is continuing to go up as well. And the projections from 2022 all the way to 2027 are absolutely massive because obviously copper is a major part of electric vehicles. We can see the EV market and its impact on copper. By 2027, an estimated 27 million electric vehicles will be on the road, which is up from just 3 million in 2017. This will raise copper demand in EVs from 185,000 tons in 2017 to 1.74 million tons in 2027. In addition to that, each EV charger will add 0.7 kgs of copper. Fast chargers can add up to 8 kilograms of copper each. So as we can see, the copper demand is going to be a direct correlation with electric vehicles. And guess what this company mines heavily? Copper. This is why this is a Deegan penny stock and why it will move with some of these more fun stocks like electric vehicle stocks and technology companies. So this is probably or at least one of my favorite things about this company. I like that they mine copper because copper is extremely important as we move forward in this new electric vehicle world. So as we know, commodities, they are a portfolio hedge. That just is what it is. There's pretty much no way around it. That has been forever. Commodities are a hedge against inflation. You can see a Wall Street analyst like John LaForge thinks that gold and silver is going to continue to push higher in 2022 because of all the money printing going on and it's going to be great for gold and silver and other commodities for all of these commodities are hedges against inflationary times which unfortunately is the times that we are seeing as we speak inflation and interest rates are going to continue to go up as the months go on here at the very least in 2022 and you can believe gold silver and other commodities are going to continue to go up as well in fact even further than that a lot of analysts even from goldman sachs here we can see that they think a new commodity super cycle is on the horizon here and we have heard this a multitude of times even for the last couple of years but now with everything going on in russia ukraine what china is doing this could really start to push it over the edge so taking a look here at what they have to say it says new boom goldman's super cycle view is predicted on how the world will recover from the covid 19 crisis with an emphasis on a green industrial revolution and policy focus on social need as we can see uh China claimed they want to be carbon neutral by 2060. Goldman Sachs thinks all of this is going to directly impact the demand for metals such as copper, but it will also have a multiplier effect on labor markets and commodity producing countries, ultimately creating that commodity super cycle where we see a decade long of commodity prices just absolutely soaring. And that's when you're going to want to have those hedges in your portfolio so you can capitalize on all of those gains. And lastly here for the industry as a whole, before we move into this company specifically my favorite chart in the universe as we can see gold silver and generally speaking other commodities as well they perform directly opposite to how the s p 500 in the overall uh, stock market does right so we can see every time the s p 500 and dow jones here in red and blue specifically drop off a gold and silver skyrocket right i mean it is just hilarious the correlation between them even at the end here if you can see all the way at the end here take a look the dow jones down s p 500 down and we can see a gold up silver spike up right so it's hilarious how that stuff happens which is why it's so great to have these stocks as a hedge in your portfolio but more specifically here let's talk about york harbor metals in this investor presentation which i sent out to everyone in the discord so as we can see first off this moves like a deegan penny stock 323 percent since uh june 2021 172 uh, percent just in the past six months and 114 percent in 2022 alone so that is absolutely huge here. But let's start with one thing and more specifically one guy, Eric Sprott. He is a billionaire mining tycoon who was not only the chairman of Kirkland Lake Gold, which was one of the most profitable, low cost, high grade gold mining companies in the past decade, but he is the founder and financer of some of the best mining stocks over pretty much our generation, right? And now he is a part of York Harbor Metals through a massive holding. So he actually bought shares at 40 cents over $1 million worth and he bought millions more just this past November and now he owns 7% of this company which is a pretty substantial holding that's millions and millions of dollars right and now you can keep in mind as well that his position is up over 150% he could cash out move on to the next play that's what I would personally tell him to do right you guys know I like to take my profits quick ultimately get out but he is not doing that at all he's never sold a single share never exercised any warrants and pretty much doesn't have any plans to within the relatively near future he believes 
in this company. He continues to increase his cash position in this company, and he just continues to hold, which is super, super bullish for this company. And he is not the only big investor ever. There's a multitude of investors, other pretty much seven other key investors owning over 52% of the outstanding shares, and they're all held by these professional resource legend and tycoons. So if you can't tell, investors, big investors at least, are extremely bullish and believe heavily in this company, which is ultra bullish. The, the ultimate reality, right? The ultimate quest is to just follow the big money. So if you're doing that, you can see they're pouring into this stock. Now, in addition to that here, specifically related to the company, this they have a VMS deposit, right? And you can see what this is here. So a VMS deposits are pretty much super, super rare as they host a number of valuable elements, right? And let me get you more of a true, true definition here. So we can see that VMS deposits are one of the richest sources of metals such as copper, lead, and zinc globally. They can also produce economic amounts of gold and silver. And as you can see, as far as some numbers go here, currently global metal production from VMS deposits account for 22% of zinc, 9.7% of lead, 6% of copper, 8.2% of silver, and 2.2% of gold. So this is absolutely huge. And we've only talked about one other mining company, I believe, that had a VMS deposit and that stock is doing very, very well. So this is great for the company, is extremely rare, and you definitely do not see it very often. As you can see in Canada, only 350 VMS deposits have ever been made. So this is pretty huge here. And they actually account for the large numbers, over half of zinc production, 40% uh, silver and 27% copper production. So these deposits are massive and also have extremely long lives. So let me give you guys a quick summary here on what I have found with this company and why I think it has such big potential. One, it is a hedge, period. It is a hedge against all those risky stocks that we currently have in our portfolio and will continue to go out and find because that is our mission here is to find those Deegan penny stocks and capitalize on them. But it is a Deegan hedge, right? It is a hedge against those riskier stocks. If those go down, this more than likely will go up. But as we can see, it also moves substantially. I mean, 172% in six months. That is huge for a hedge, right? This isn't like investing into gold bars or silver bars. This is big time here for Deegan investors. Also makes it extremely risky. So keep that in mind as well. But regardless, as we can see, number one here, massive investors own over 52% of this company. They have a well-experienced and a well-rounded management team. They have a VMS deposit, which is again, extremely rare, like we just saw. This stock is a hedge against inflation, but moves like a Deegan penny stock. They mine copper, which is set to skyrocket in the coming years due to a surge in EV vehicles. And lastly, with everything happening in Russia, Ukraine, China, all of the, the Paris Agreement, the carbon neutral, everything, Goldman analysts think that a commodity super cycle could be right at our fingertips. And you can believe that mining companies will be the top performers, right? Because they are the riskiest. When gold goes down, these mining stocks go down way, way, way faster, right? Commodities in general, they go down way faster. But at the same time, when gold, silver, copper, other commodities go up, these stocks really, really, really skyrocket. So that is when you can capitalize on some very big gains. But anyways, guys, that is my thoughts here on an 87% tiny little hedge against inflation, a mining penny stock here, Y-O-R-K-F, York Harbor Meadows. I want to hear what your thoughts are down in the comments below and let me know if you think this is worth an investment. Let me know what your thoughts are and also let me know your favorite Deegan penny stock down there in the comments below. If you enjoyed, make sure and subscribe and also give this video a like and you know the drill, guys. As always, I will see you in the next video.